New subscriber shout out. Yay! The Washington DLC is here. I've already gotten a little bit into it, and we also have the Forestry Machinery DLC here too. So, uh, welcome everybody. Good to see you all here for some more American Truck Simulator. What's up, everybody? And guess who I brought? Check this out. Yeah! Got the Mac R working now. So, no more vanilla. We've uh, seen enough of that. Everything here will be on, uh, on basically mods. So, we have our Mac R plus a couple of other mods for... Uh, I think like to make the roads look a little bit more detailed and such. So the map is new, but the mods are here. So don't judge buying the DLC off of its prettiness now. Go watch them. our previous stream, I would say. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. Welcome. Hi. Oh, well, you're back. What's up, Griffin? Good to see you here. Wonderful. Uh, Zachary Duncan, we're aware of that. We saw your mom last night. Got him. Dairy Farm. What's up, dude? How you doing? And also, uh, oh, hi from Scotland from John. Good to see you. Hello. Hi, Adrian. 
All right, everyone. Well, uh, we're back to our old favorite again, and we're going uh, somewhere really cool. Check it out. We've got um, uh, a location. Hopefully, it's still here. Let's see. Yes, in the east, Spokane. So we're going to go to Spokane, Washington, and uh, work our way out there. Uh, it's pro I'm assuming it's going to be very easy to go to these cities here, from Vancouver, Tacoma, Washington, uh, Seattle, Washington, Everett, Bellingham, all these areas here, all easy. Olympia, Aberdeen, and Post uh, Port Angeles, I think, are going to be easy to get to uh, once we come around Tacoma and Seattle. So uh, that's why I want to go east, because there's big O distance between these. So welcome to see you all here. Yeah, it's nice. Where's the new truck? I don't know. Uh, how would I know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've actually taken a look at the, uh, if you take a look at the, uh, truck browser, I don't think they're listed yet, but we're hauling a dozer. Or, not a dozer, but a caterpillar, what is that, uh, actually, wait a minute, is that a logging piece of equipment? Is that a stump grinder, or is that, like, something for cutting up concrete? Not entirely sure, but anyway, we're hauling east with that, so welcome to all the new subscribers. Good to see you all here. Don't forget to click or tap that subscribe button, just like Dean... Your name will pop up here. Thanks again for all the uh, super chats and all of the uh, wonderful memberships, too. All right, let's get on our road. Oh, also, we have our voice actor with us, too, for our... Uh, there's a voice acted um, a GPSs now, so that's really cool. All right, well, let's get on the road. I have my favorite truck here for logging, but before we uh, can start our company, I guess we have to explore all the cities first. Oh, there we go. Asphalt cutter? Okay, it could be. All right, we're going to have to take a big old wide turn on this one. That trailer likes to get hung up. There we go. Hi from Sweden. Hey, how I do? Soccer bullen. Oh, that's sugar ball. Sugar ball one is with us. I recognize those words. Hey, how I do? Back. All right. Let's roll, boys. Stump grinder. I think that was Shrike's uh, magician name. Right. Oh, we're only in four low. Okay. All right, boys, so sit back, enjoy. The DLC Turn is right. absolutely fantastic. It is really amazing. Just on that main road, on like Highway 5 and just a few cities off of it, there's a lot to see. Stay right, and then turn right. What's up, Jordy? Oh, yep, got a, got a signal. I'm back in my natural habitat. Right. We're now back in the Mac R again. It wasn't working earlier this morning, but now it's working. So, man, it is awesome. Mac R is a mod, too. So if you get this game, check, check the Steam Workshop for pretty much everything. Are there orange trucks with the Dutch flag on it? Well, you can make one. I'm sure there's mods for that. Oh, look. Oh, and also, there's some new uh, adjustments to uh, having more uh, settings for your windshield wipers, so that's nice. New way stations, all sorts of new stuff. Morgan Freeman voice back? I think there might be. Uh-oh. Well, we're already getting pulled over now. All right, we'll come in for the, for the way station. I was driving the Peterbilt truck earlier. It just... I couldn't even drive it because it was like a vanilla truck. I'd gotten so used to the mods. Recomputed. All right, let's see. Loaded right lane, okay. There you go. Seventy-eight thousand four forty-seven. All right, let's roll. Okay. We are on our way to Spokane with a uh, asphalt cutter, I suppose. But I want to be hauling logs, and man, with this forestry DLC, you can haul more logs than ever. Lucas Montrero, thank you for sub and strike. If you have some extra time, make me a Pickle Pines uh, logging truck for the Mac R. If you ain't got nothing going on, It'd be awesome to have like a little company. I guess that's the name of it. If you've been watching the streams, I've been playing for the hype, and now finally Stay it's right. here. Then exit right. Wow, there's uh, signs that operate now. That is awesome. Exit right. Stay right. Yeah, the truck really sounds good. It's nice. Vanilla's good, but mods are a must have. That's why they finally got Steam Workshop integration for both ATS and Euro Truck. There was a time, believe it or not, before mods were really, like, easily available to get on Steam, but now it just makes them a little easier to, to manage. And oh, we're going to Spokane with a uh, asphalt cutter. Jay, thanks for seven. Well, 
thank God for that sign reminding to me to drive safely. I was safely. planning on driving on safely, but due to that sign, I guess now we're going to obey all road conditions, laws, regulations, etc. Get with me tonight about that? Shrike, I'm a busy man. There's a Cascadia in the game? Well, apparently so. If we go to the vehicle browser, I'm not able to see it at the moment, but I think here's the thing. I think I have to find a dealership that specifically sells the Cascadia. So, I don't know what's... Now, since it's a new update and since there's a, a new DLC, some of the cities that didn't have truck dealerships before probably have the new, uh, the new truck in them. So, you probably have to go... Uh, to find them. Yep, you probably have to Stay unlock right. the truck dealerships and uh, unlock them. Yeah, we'll see, Shrek. When are we going to Washington? Oh, I don't know. Sometime. Stay right. I need some Fika on my drive there. Oh, yeah. Fika. Cafe och smorgås. Jag gillar det. Am I going to find them in the stream? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know where those dealerships are. So if we happen to come across one, I will definitely uh, stop and take a look. Andrew Hunter, thanks for subscribing. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at how wonderful this this is. This is crazy. What is in my truck? Uh, combustion engine which utilizes fossil fuels in order to create propulsion through an axle transmission system, providing forward movement via the wheels. I think. Uh, Cascadia is not a part of the DLC. It should be a part of version 1.35. So if you go to the uh, Steam page and look at the uh, recent update, I think they made it in two different posts. I mean, what are you carrying to drop off? Oh, what, what's, what are we hauling? It's an asphalt cutter from Caterpillar. Oh my goodness, look at that highway over there. It's hugging the mountain. Let's take a closer look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, we'll take a look at the uh, cargo too. So somebody needs a, what seems to be a Caterpillar asphalt cutter. But check that out. We're also playing in the DX11 version. Wow, I wonder if we get to actually drive on that highway. Every vehicle has its own free LD. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not sure. A lot. There was a lot of talk about the Cascadia. People are saying stuff. Min svenska inte bra. Jag tala små svenska. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Must maintain forward momentum. Oh boy. There we go, that's a little better. Ooh. Actually, I'm glad we're going slow. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Wow, that's actually kind of dangerous. They should put some uh, stuff or something like that on the on the cliff. Wait a minute, what? Four. There you go. Am I reading that from a piece of paper? What? Reading what? Swedish? Oh wait, do I have my headlights on? Oh, I guess I had them on because of the rain earlier. Oh no, I understand some Swedish. I have Swedish friends. Oh, look at that beautiful grain field to our right. Gorgeous. You're a huge fan? Well, thank you, Christine, for being here.
Okay, let's keep her on the in the lanes, boys. Another way station coming up. Hopefully we can bypass that one. Damn. Well, I didn't I didn't get any heavier between my <laughs> stopping point and here. Hold on, Garrett, we gotta pull over. Finding new route. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Don't I find the game is boring? Yeah, dude, it's so boring that I played it like, uh, I think, eight to ten times on live streams over the last uh, couple of days. Well, thank you, Shy Lubu. Thanks again, everybody, for all their support and everything like that. Greatly appreciate that. This game is cheese. Uh, I'm a big fan of cheese. Gouda, Havarti. Sometimes cheese can make the dip difference of what would be a boring boring sandwich. Love how that light lights up the cabin like that. Some of these mods are just incredible. Why do trucks have to be weighed? Well, for health reasons. No, it's uh, because companies might overload a truck. These roads are only um, these trucks on the roads are only supposed to be a certain weight and companies might try to load them up with extra or whoever may try to load them up with extra goods in order to try to like uh, ship more stuff for a cheaper price but it's unsafe and it damages the roads and so they build these way stations to make sure that they're compliant with the uh, weight although I don't know why we had to be uh, flagged down twice wow look at that beautiful river yeah, I love the new map. I've only been to like five cities, but now we're going real far east to Spokane. So that's going to be interesting. Now we got a little bit of a drive out there. Tracy, thanks for seven. Appreciate that. Boy, just like with Oregon, going west, or rather east, in Washington is pretty much just like rolling hills, and it seems like desert. But west is like where Stay all the back. cool stuff is. Yep, the Mac is now working. I wanted to do one stream at least with vanilla, with no mods, but I find it almost... No, no offense to the game, but almost unplayable. The mods just make it so, so, so good that you have to do it. It's almost like eating french fries with ketchup, you know? It's like, french fries are really good, but once you add ketchup or mayo or whatever you like to have on your fries, it's like, well, who would ever want to eat bland fries? Fries are good. French fries are great. But it's the dipping sauce that makes them a lot more special. That must be a rail bridge up there. Or maybe that's like a bike path or something. Sir, move that, sir, Jesus, come on, people, damn AI is beyond idiotic. Oh, well, I guess they're more than, they're super realistic. Man, people will just hover right next to your vehicle. Like I signal, like, okay, this guy's going to go past me, and then as soon as I start signaling, it's like, whoop, better stay parallel to this truck. Ooh, what is this? Oh, the Columbia River. Oh. Wow. We're like in the desert. Oh, suddenly somebody found the gas pedal. Thank you, Grandfather. Awesome. Dude did not know how to drive his vehicle. Oh, that truck's signaling. Better, better block him.
You know, I wonder, aren't there runaway lanes for trucks in this? Have I had road rage? No, I have AI rage. I hate when the AI does, does stuff that blocks me. One of the biggest things that the AI will do sometimes is, if they're going to turn right, sometimes they'll turn left a little bit. So, uh, they'll, they'll sometimes like almost go into the opposite lane just to get ready to turn left. It's kind of weird. Ooh, a scenic view. Oh, there's actually a road you can go down over there. Cool. Let's take a look at the mini-map. Oh yeah, it's just like a nice little hilltop view of the city. Cool. Hey there, Strand. How you doing? Yeah, trucks are moving slow in this lane. Yeah, that's why I say the, the game simulates idiots very well by the AI doing some dumb stuff every once in a while. Karsten. Thank you. We're seven. Wow, look at all those power lines going on for a million miles. Getting a new truck today? Well, we might get the Cascadia and try it out, but I am... Listen, I'm seriously trying to find a truck that I, I have fallen in love with as much as the Mac R, but there just doesn't seem to be any trucks that I like. I just like how this is a wonderful day cab truck that has just a gorgeous... like sh It's a short nose, but it's a very powerful truck. It's very powerful. And I'm kind of like starting my own logging company this way. Jeez, man. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks again, everybody, for subscribing and liking the video. Appreciate that. Heavy loads go real slow up them hills and mountain passes. They sure do, Brian. We're crawling up those. Okay, I guess we go from 60 to 40 in no time flat. Come on, game, switch back to low gears. There we go. Wow, is this a lake? Crazy. Beautiful. Moses Lake. Huh. Well, that's cool. Guy switches lanes to overtake the truck and then immediately goes slower than he did when he switched the lane. Look at that. Jeez, AI. Oh, look at how big these lakes are. Beautiful. Trent Shepard, thank you for seven. That's right, Explosive Reactions, the DLC is here. I played for a few hours this morning on vanilla, now we're trying out some mods. Like the Mac R, man, it is awesome. Ooh, an overturned uh, logging truck over there, oopsies. Uh, the game is multiplayer, you can download some mods to play uh, Euro Truck with, with mods. Or, well, it's a mod to play but there's not really many mods you can play. Yeah, I got the Forestry DLC. We already hauled something earlier in our previous stream down one of the most deadliest roads. It was scary. It was really cool. So make sure you go back and check out our uh, previous ATS video about that.
Now, if I get any other keys to this game, I'm going to give them away on Twitter for the uh, DLC here. So make sure you click or tap that join button on the Twitter there. Make sure you follow me. How do I get my... There it goes. Five high. There we go. Oh yeah, E3's going on. A lot of great uh, announcements, but we'll see how long certain things take. Seems like November is going to be a very busy month. Anybody have issues with the job market? I haven't. External contracts and uh, freight cargo has been working. But I don't know about... Uh, the, the freight market and external contracts are good. Quick jobs probably are fine too. Nope, we're in Washington. Shay Marley, welcome aboard. Hi there, Michael, doing good. Another lake off to our right, it looks like. Is that... Or is that a mirage? Am I getting... Faded? I don't know. Look, could be a lake. I'm not sure. Yeah, return to the Mac. It looks great. Truck is awesome for our pickle pines logging. Right now, we're just doing some jobs to explore Washington, but... Once we're done with that, I'm going to do all things related to logging. Uh, this is all mods now. There's graphical mods and some other things that I'm using. But once you buy the game, they're all free. So it's once you have the game, it's almost like just turning on pretty mode. That's all you got to do. Oh, you, dro you drove 20 hours from... Uh, North Dakota to Washington. Impressive. Spokane Airport. It's about a mile away. Stay left. They said to reduce speed ahead, but I don't see exactly where. Oh, that sign <laughs> sign told me to slow down. Now we're in Spokane. Stay left. Okay. Okay, I guess we're taking the Broadway Avenue exit. So 286. All right. Stay right and then exit right. Roger that. Exit right. Stay left and then turn left. 
turn left. Oof. All right, we'll have to work on our braking a little bit. Yeah, Brian, we're, we're putting the hammer down to get to some of these locations. We should get some good money from this job. Might be able to buy a new truck soon. This is boring. Do brick rigs? Well, Gage, uh, interestingly enough, if you grab yourself a little uh, telescope or something like that, wait till tonight and go look at the stars and all the planets and stuff, and you'll notice that things in the world don't revolve around you and that other people want some stuff too. So rather than dropping what we're doing to appease Gage, I think we're going to keep on playing the Washington DLC, hence the name of today's stream. And the people who came to see this stream too are going to enjoy that as well. So, I mean, I could inconvenience the 200 people or so watching now for you, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep on playing this for them. Because that's what I said I'd be playing. Hi, Heavy Hype. How you doing? Welcome aboard. Spokane. Kind of looks like a quiet city, even though it's Trent Avenue. Oh, wow. We had a Trent Just subscriber. We just crossed Trent Avenue. Awesome. Oh, there's Walmart over there. Or at least a couple of trucks for Walmart. Cool. Uh, this is good. Learning and growing. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I do every time I play this game. Go straight. Oh, wow. What is this on the right side? What, like a giant concrete plant or something? Oh, maybe that's why they need that asphalt cutter. Maybe they're redoing their own parking lot. Do I remember what engine's under the hood? It is a... Um, Stay right and then turn right. It is a Mac engine, I believe, but I can't remember which one. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can look at the engine without going to... Turn right. Like maintenance. I don't know if you can... Is there a way to see what you got in your truck without going to the service? Thank you, Christine, for the support. Appreciate that. Whoa. The old girl got out of out of gear. Priceless, thanks for subbing. Oh, game. Put her in second. There we go. Jeez. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. This game is so boring. It is, dude. That's why it's like number one on Steam and has overwhelmingly positive reviews. People just hate it so much that. They'll immediately stream it this morning after paying $18, not only for the Washington DLC, but the surprise forestry DLC that came out, too. That's how that's how boring it is. We are finished. We are done. All right, good. Let's see. Where do you need it? Eh, let's just do the easy ones. I don't need the extra XP anymore. Uh, but, Tark, there's probably a, a Fortnite stream live right now. If you'd like to go watch that, I'm sure Ninja's streaming, so you can go watch him. Ooh, look at that train. Is that an Amtrak? Cool. Oh, I guess we're bringing it to the uh, train station. Either they're sending it out or they're using it here. Maybe they're going to resurface some of the stuff here at the train depot. Well, thank you, Pedro. Appreciate that. Uh, Raptor, I have a 14 hours for work tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you're going to go on the whole drive? Good. Uh-oh. I wish I would have taken that turn a little differently. Yeah, let's just straighten ourselves out. We'll back in. We'll make it make it squared on. What will the new state be? I think they're going to go to Texas next. Colt, uh, I'd ask Colt, and Colt said it's probably going to be Texas. And I, I honestly think that's right, because Texas is just a big O, big state, and there's so much to, like, see and do, and... I think the people at SCS Software really like making big urban areas and then also big open areas, too. And Texas has both. Okay. Well, thank you for the uh, compliment there, uh, Mr. Soundwaves. Cubes. Appreciate that. And thank you, you guys, for clicking and tabbing that like button, too, so that way the people who say this is boring don't win. Otherwise, I'm going to have to end up playing Fortnite. <laughs> Sorry, i got to pay the bills. <laughs> if you guys don't like it, I'm going to have to play Fortnite. Please save me. All right, let's continue, see what else there is. 
Uh, Tarek, you keep saying it's boring. If everyone here had agreed with we you, we'd all be wrong. Alright, let's go to Colville. Or let's try to go north or something. Or some sort of logging job. Ooh, Reddit. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go to California. Nope. And I don't want to go back to Seattle either. What are these? New subscriber Should we drive a... Uh, Turnkey house construction to Grand Coulee for a uh, one hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars. Should we haul the the silo? Let's do some special cargo. What do you guys want to see? Because then we can go see the Grand Coulee Dam. You guys want to see a giant silo or the house? Which one do you think is cooler? Everything else is California. Oh, there's that. Oh, that doesn't even go into the city that far. Oh, here we go. Frozen food. All right, guys. It's your it's your choose your own adventure stream. Do you guys want the silo or the house? Seems like it's 50-50. New York State would be interesting. Yeah, that would be cool. I'd really like to see that actually. Oh, there's some good stuff in external contracts. But we could make some good money from that big O silo or house. I feel like I'm getting a 50-50 from you guys. I might have to flip a coin. I think I'm going to have to flip a coin. Alright, heads, it is giant silo. Tails, it is... Uh... Oh, wait, I don't even know if our truck can haul this, to be honest. How heavy is this thing? Oh, 77,000 pounds? That's not even that much. The house is 44,000. One is heavy cargo, yeah. I, I think our truck can haul this. I think we've hauled something at 85, no problem before. I'm gonna flip a, uh, all right, I'm flipping a coin. Heads, silo, tails, house, ready? Here we go. Okay, looks like you guys won. Ooh, this thing is both good for heavy and normal cargo, awesome. Look at that, with only 285 horsepower, she is good to go. This time thing is really powerful. All right, boys, time for a special haul. I haven't done one of those before. Or, well, I mean in a while. At least not here, not in Washington. Oh, look, a harvester. That is a very strange look. Is that a harvester? No, that must be a... That looks like something to clean up snow. Horsepower for speed, torque for pull. Yeah, this, this baby's got both. Wait a minute, why did it disappear? Where did the GPS go? Was I already there? Let's do this. Oh, now it's on the GPS. Okay. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Of course, if you guys want to use those Gotham emotes too whenever we destroy somebody who keeps saying a game is boring, you guys can click and tap that join button to support the stream and then also get access to a bunch of emotes too to kind of pick on those people who are just trying to like get attention in, in a stream like it's my birthday this game's boring play Fortnite. is that the world you all want to live in me neither <laughs> get ready to turn left all right boys let's go pick up the heavy haul so the silo is 77,000 pounds right thomas thanks for seven hopefully this truck can do it we're gonna get a police escort, so the uh, Seattle, or wait, no, is it, wait, where are we going? I don't know if, I think it's actually state troopers come out, so Washington state troopers will come out. How long does a mission like this take? Oh, it might be, uh, mm, 
maybe like 40 minutes or so. I don't know. Well, no, anybody who's saying it's boring is just absolutely desperate for attention. So don't worry about it. Either they're just saying that to be funny or they just want attention. Don't worry about it. People will get bored and leave. This ain't a Fortnite stream. <coughs> Oh, man, that must be for uh, concrete over here. Is there a concrete plant around? Maybe that's what that was, gravel and concrete. Didn't realize we were going back the same way. All right. Go straight. Oh, don't give them any attention, folks. Otherwise, the stream becomes toxic and people bail because it's just about that one person. And we're here for the Washington DLC. Not for just boring people. Uh, why does the GPS provide me with two routes? It says I can take a right or I can go up here and... What the hell? Why is it doing that? Oh, I was supposed to go to the train depot after all? Okay, that's why I got confused because as we rolled out, it the GPS go wanted me to go up here for a U-turn. Are you kidding me? All right, let's just do this now because the GPS goofed me up. I thought we were in the right place, but I just didn't know. There we go. Alright, boys, we're on the way. We're going back to where, we're, where we came from. Yeah, it looks a beautiful... It's very, very beautiful, the mod with all the... The, the Washington DLC with all the mods is just absolutely Ghosted. gorgeous. Alright, Speeding violation? Absolutely, officer. We're on an emergency to uh, go pick up uh, an emergency Stay silo. Right. I'll need a police Enter escort. Right. And I'll charge you in the city of Spokane $10,000 for emotional damages. Turn right. Yeah, all that for a U-turn, I know. I don't know why the game just didn't tell me to flip around like at a... I, gu I guess you really right. can't do like a... Can't really do a U-turn with one of these trucks, but also... <laughs> I could have right. just turned around in like an empty lot over here. I thought I was in the right place. All right, here we go. We are finished. Good. Now where are we going? Freight market. Take that big old house. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. For the silo, I guess. Oh, it's nighttime too. You know, this seems like a lot of extra wheels for something that doesn't look that heavy. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Alright. I already know how this works. Okay. Let's roll. Wait. Oh, it puts the parking brake on. All right, you guys ready? Anonymous, thanks for seven. That's a big old, big, big. Woo. Nebraska Moore, thanks for seven. That is some giant cargo. At least we're going to make a lot of money off this, which means we can go buy some more garages. This is plenty of time to straighten out that cargo. Oh, no. No, it is not. <laughs> Good luck getting out of here. Are you kidding me? There is no way. I better jump the curb a little bit. Day, please? Well, I can't. I can't. I'm not Jesus. I can't choose the time of day. I can't just like snap my fingers and Thanos time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to go in reverse. What am I doing? I'm trying to get a giant uh, silo out from this uh, giant thing. Oh yeah, I'm using the extra money mod. Just so we can get some more... Uh, some more uh, garages and things. Oh, 
Oh boy. This ain't ever gonna work. Well, I guess, boys, it's just gonna take a whole lot of flooring. I'll also turn differential lock on. <laughs> well, I was doomed from the start with that narrow uh, little gate. I should have went out this side. Accelerate and forget the load, yeah. Is American truck or Euro truck better? It's all based off your own preferences. Depends on what you like, man. There we go. Now we're leaning into it. There we go. Yeah, that's true. Oversize is usually done at night because of the uh, traffic. Wow. No backing up. That's not happening. <laughs> cool. You can actually see the truck move from that. Well, everyone wanted the silo. Oh, there we go. We're, sli we're sliding down a little bit. But there's no, like, there is, there's no straighten out on this one. It's an articulated trailer, so that's not going to happen. All right, guys, could we get a bunch of uh, waves in chat, guys? Could we get a bunch of uh, waves? Everybody wave to chat. Everybody wave. Wave, everyone. Everybody wave to chat. Wave, everyone. Wave goodbye to Tarek. There we go. Bye, Tarek. All right. Am I stuck? Oh, this just takes a whole lot of flooring. Don't mind somebody saying that they don't like this content, but to sit and chat and just repeatedly just say, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. It's just uh, it's a dumb move, dude. Let us know when you get a brain. We'll let you back. Nuria, thank you for subbing. All right, it's going to take a little bit of time. Luckily, this is the hardest part of the job, is really, like, getting out of some tight spaces. Once you hit the road, it's easy. Oh, we're, ma we're making progress. Oh, my goodness, it's actually coming off. We're, we're slightly moving. Oh my goodness. Hello from Ireland. Hi there. All right, how's our uh, silo doing? All right, boys. This is going to take about another 20 minutes of flooring. That's all it takes sometimes. I should have uh, went through the left exit. Oh, wait a minute. Our tire is going to get stuck, isn't it? That might be the end of us moving forward. Do you think that thing's actually going to go up over the... <laughs> no, you can't unhook anything. I can't do any changes to the trailer. Yep, it's stuck truck simulator. Let's try to go this way. Yeah, t TV news is here too. We're standing here where apparently a YouTuber trying to drive a truck and this happened. Whoa! I tried to drive 77,000 pounds at night time during a special transport mission and this happened. Wow. All right. 
Am I embarrassed? Oh no. No, this is a special mission to where sometimes, like I said, getting out of these tight areas. Oh, there we go. Can be a little tricky. Okay, we finally got off the house. We are good to go. Perfect. Hey, see, kids? Sometimes it just takes a whole lot of flooring. There we go. Get ready to turn left. I think Tarek was just turn stuck left. in the tires. We had to get a, a pry bar out, wedge him out from there, and now we're rolling. There we go. All right, let's follow the cops now. Needed to go way wider? Maybe. Vehicle offense law. We'll keep them out of the way. <laughs> oh, I hit the cop car. Wow, this thing is extremely long. Get ready to turn left. Luckily, we get to go through the uh, stoplights. Yay! All right, let's try to do this, like, for real now. All right, we're entering for real mode. I'm going to try to do this without killing anybody now. Sweet. Hey, 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 second gear. Game, second... No, second gear. No, come on. Ah. There we go, okay. Is this only on PC? Yeah. The Washington DLC is absolutely fantastic. Right now I'm doing a special transport job, which is also DLC. And yes, we do have a police escort with us. Luckily. It's to keep them, everyone else safe, not me. It's to keep everyone else away from me. We made it up the hill. I wonder if our differential is still on. Is there a way to see? Oh, that was the button for it. Slow down the truck and try again. Go straight. Wheels cannot be locked. Okay, good. Yeah, the voice nav is a nice uh, new feature. Although I don't really need it at the moment. All I got to do is just call, follow the cops. Gomo Sarpia, thank you very much for becoming a member, dude. Enjoy your new emotes. Welcome aboard. Thanks for the um, thanks for the membership. That's the way to support the stream. Thank you. Also, shouldn't we have our beacons on? Chat, you forgot to yell at me. There we go. Now we got them on. Yay! Go straight. Uh oh. Guys, we got to take a right turn. Oh boy! Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. What the? Oh, I bumped into the left side. I was watching the mirror. It seemed like we were pretty far away from it. Oh, thank God. At least the trailer's not goofed up, that's all. All right, we're good. We're good. This is actually a silo full of that cream that they put in Oreo cookies emergency delivery right now. Looks like they were a little uh, short on some cream. We gotta get over there before the world runs out of Oreos. America's favorite cookie! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we're using the steering wheel. You can check down below to learn more. Stay left.
<laughs> the Mac R is in labor holding this thing. Oh, the Mac R is having no problems with this at all. I was able to like push it through a house. This truck keeps me safe. Boys, we're moving at the breakneck speed at 30 miles an hour. All right. Yeah, you can play this game on a keyboard. Nandros, thank you for subbing. Changing lane maneuver coming. Adapt speed to avoid possible clarat. Oh, my. Officer. You in the DLC yet you're still watching me? Well, that's awesome. Thank you for being here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to all the new subscribers today, and thanks to, uh, again, Gomo for clicking and tapping the join button. That's an awesome way to support the stream, dude. Guys, I'm happy to announce we've achieved 35 miles per hour. This is some new territory for us. We haven't been uh, to, uh, where are we going again? The, uh, where's that dam again? The cool, oh, I forget, the Cooley Dam. Is that what it's called? Or are we going to Cooley? Engage hyperdrive? Yeah, I might have to roll up the window, guys. We're going to engage the hyperdrive. Stay right, and then exit right. Exit right. Thanks, Logan, for subbing. That's awesome, man. Turn left? What? We're supposed to turn right. What are you talking about, Logan Jones? We turn right. Uh, AT Hiker, the, the DLC is absolutely fantastic. Right now we're doing a, a special heavy haul, and it's awesome. They've even got sections in Washington set up for this, but I've got to say I, I love the map so far. Staying along Highway 5 going north from Portland is just beautiful. There's a lot of things to see. It's a really nice road. and get, Then going west is a little bit more uh, like a... Uh, or, uh, do I mean west? Going east is a little bit more uh, like open terrain. But I'm looking for uh, looking to go west eventually once we discover all the cities. So so far so good. A lot of stuff to s explore. There also was another DLC announced this morning for American Truck Simulator called Forest Forestry Machinery. So if you're a big fan of logging like me, then you can also uh, buy that where you can get forward uh, forwarders and uh, log stackers and other all sorts of other equipment that you can haul. A lot of it's heavy haul too. So if you want to do some heavy haul on some uh, logging roads, we were able to do that one uh, earlier this morning. That was really cool. All right, we're now on the two heading, I think, north. A lot of cops up here. Was there an accident or something? Oh, I hope they don't ask me to pull into the way station. We're Ghost gonna be in trouble. Hopefully I can sneak by. Okay, I don't think they saw me. Yeah, I don't think anybody sees me. Perfect. We sneaked right by. Seems like something important in the silo. We're carrying copies of uh, the Washington DLC <laughs> to a store. 
Yeah, these are some country roads, aren't they? Even though they're asphalt, it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, luckily, the game refuels you before you go on these special missions. So they do. The nice thing about these is you do get a free tank of gas. So that's nice. You want a piece of the pizza? I'm. We'll have to wait on chat to give out some pizza. Does anyone in chat have a piece of pizza? Hi there, Brandon. How you doing, dude? Nobody in chat has any pizza emotes. There we go. D17's got some pizza. Oh, that looks really good, actually. I can see the cheese melting on that one a little bit. Oh, man. Do I like pizza? Absolutely. Pizza's great. Really like a nice crunchy thin crust because then it makes it more about the ingredients on top. And if you get some nice, like, you know, cheese and uh, marinara sauce with some really good, uh, like, onions, mushrooms, maybe a meat or something. Oh, that's my favorite. That's. But I'm not going to complain. Like, if I go to a place and someone's like, Oh, hey, do you want just this pepperoni pizza? I'm like, sure. And then if somebody else is like, oh, hey, do you want this, uh, you know, like, super expensive, fancy pizza? Like, pizza, pizza, there's good pizza, and then there's great pizza. It's really hard to make bad pizza. Yeah, thin crust is just a kind of a personal favorite, too. I like the kind of the crunchy crispiness of that, but there's nothing wrong with like a, a nice deep dish either. Like there's a nice thing about pizzas, it's very diverse. But yet all the same, like the ingredients are always the same. You need a crust, you need the sauce, you need the cheese, but it can all be different. Ooh, this is gonna be a tight fit. We better go for the middle. There we go. That silo was awfully wide. I didn't want the side of that to get caught on one of those barriers. And we had a railroad crossing there. We were lucky. Daniel, thanks for subbing. Washington native here. Highway 2 is an east-west route from the sign I saw you were westbound. Okay. I thought we were going north because I thought the GPS points up if you're going north. Oh, someone's having pizza in real life? You better share. Chat's not going to be very nice to you if you don't share your pizza. But that's the cool thing about pizza, too, is that it's always great to share. Get ready to turn right. Alright, boys. we got to initiate that right turn now. Turn right. Oh, boy. All right, main reactor to full power. Main engines. Give her all she's got, Captain. Uh-oh, rocks. I rock. Too bad it's nighttime. This looks beautiful. We're going to go through a nighttime mountain pass. Oh, this is cool. Look both ways, that's on the cops. I'm just supposed to drive. They're the ones clearing traffic. What 
time is it anyway in the game? Oh, it's like 3 a.m. Yeah, everybody's gawking. The police are coming. They're all slowing down to look. Cops trying to push them over a little bit. Thank you, officer. Stay right, and then continue straight. Grand Cooley. Officer, I don't know what you have planned here. I'm going to stay back a little bit. You, do your, you do your thing. Keeter, thanks for seven. Okay, he's clearing traffic. Okay. Hi, everyone in town. Just don't mind me. Just, you know, pass it through. Okay. Wow. Can you hire workers in this game? Yeah. That's the cool thing is that if you buy a truck and you have a lot of fun with it, instead of just like it going to waste and like sitting in the garage when you go to get a different truck, you can hire somebody to drive the other truck and then you can make money from it. So it's a real good thing. Plus, it doesn't really cost much to hire them. They, it just gives you more money. They, they just take a cut of the profits, which is okay. How many live streams do I make? Yeah, it just depends on whenever I get my other work done and I can hang out with you guys. Yeah, we better uh, go ahead and bring her back down a little bit. What is that? What was that? That looked like a railroad that came out of the cave and goes to the port. Oh, I wanted to see what that was. Cool. Well, my favorite part of this game is just like all the logging that I can do now between Washington and Oregon. And so now we're going to be using this truck a lot more in order to haul logs and logging equipment. So lumber, logs, there's the Grand Coulee Dam. Look at that, boys. That is epic. Look at that. We better get a screenshot. That looks beautiful. That, uh, this thing was built uh, during World War II and was completed in World War II. And it provided a lot of power to... I think the United States had a lot of our, their air force and such here. Like, or, or at least it was like made and such here. So I think, I think a lot of manufacturing took place out here. That's why they needed all that power. Hydroelectric power like that is so epic. You get this cool looking structure. That is epic, man. Oh, I wish there was a mod to have the camera go higher. I can't even get the whole trailer in here. Look at this. Well, that's a good screenshot. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's keep rolling. That is gorgeous, man. GTS ECX, thank you very much for clicking and tapping that join button. Welcome, enjoy your new emotes. Swag upgraded to a thousand percent. Thank you very much for the support. That is awesome. Thanks, guys, for taking the plunge and clicking and tapping that join button. You're directly supporting me by doing that. So thank you very much for doing so. How come when you subbed it didn't show up? Maybe it did. You have to check down below to know more. Uh oh. I hope somebody measured this bridge. I don't want to be like a swift driver. Oof, that was close. There's the dam. Awesome. Turn left and go upside down. <laughs> yeah. No, there's zero coal plants in Washington? Oh, that's awesome, dude. See, I think that's just smarter to just use all the other resources now to just keep pushing forward. There's probably not a lot of coal in Washington anyway, so they'd have to truck it in. So that's a, that's a smart idea just to use the available resources. Hydropower is great. I love that. Turn left. Takes a lot of money to build those power stations, but they're free and they're safe, and for the most part, anyway. But I haven't heard about a dam blowing up in the last couple of years. Uh-oh. Officer? Okay, sorry. And he's fine. Just pulled him over to the shoulder for his safety. In fact, he owes me money. Perfect. <laughs> Where are we going, anyway? We're putting this here? 
why, it's all why, over now. Why does this giant... Wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. Why does this neighborhood require a giant silo? Don't you guys just run off city water? What would be the purpose of these tanks like this? What could they possibly need that for? No, this isn't a farmhouse. If it were a farmhouse, that makes sense if we were delivering it to a farm. What is this for? This is like a giant septic tank. Like, oh, hey, we're all going to have a party at Bob's house this year for the Super Bowl. And, uh, well, he doesn't have city water, so we're going to need one heck of a, one heck of a septic tank. Oh, I went a little, a little bit too far. Wait, to skip parking? No, I don't want to. Oh, I just wasn't in there fully. Okay. There we go. Awesome, boys. We did it. Took 300 hours, but we're done. That was epic. 155,000. Yeah, that, that's what that was worth for sure. Okay. What are we at for money? 400... Whoa, we almost have half a million dollars. Darn right. Can we pay the bank back any money that we owe them? Oh boy. No, I'll do that later. Let's buy some garages while we'll we're at it. So Grand Coulee has a, doesn't have a garage. That's a shame. Centralia has a uh, coal plant? Okay. Yeah, I'm not against coal. I'm just all for like a hydropower and stuff because it looks so cool. And we're just, we're literally just using physics to make power. It's genius. Okay. Let's go to the freight market. Hmm. Okay, let's go to external contracts. Someone rank Raptor's own truck and trailer. If you'd like to make me a skin, feel free. Submit me something for the Mac R on the Discord with the links down below. Additionally, if I ever get extra keys to uh, give away for this DLC, which I might possibly, go ahead and follow me there on Twitter. Go ahead and click or tap that link there and follow me. And uh, you guys can possibly win keys to this if the developers give me one. All right, let's try to go up to maybe OMAC. That doesn't look like we can. I want to specifically do login, but I think we're going to have to, if we're going to do login, we're going to have to stay around this area of Washington. I think the, directly the west coast has the most, uh, most space for that power generator. Oh, there's a caterpillar. Oh, no. That's just like a small little power thing. Well, there's nothing really to Omac or Colville. I'm trying to uh, get local jobs that are nearby. All the rest of them want me to go back into Oregon, but I don't want to do that just yet. Let's do external contracts again. You're in a Tacoma? Oh, we just drove by, I think, a little while ago. Gypsum. All right, I guess we'll head back east. It's going to be a while, I think, until we reach Omac, Colville, Kennewick, and uh, Yakima. Because they're just kind of far out. And there's probably going to be more jobs to Longview, Olympia, Aberdeen, and Port Angeles. So we'll come back here. Let's head back west then. New subscriber shout out. Johan Nielsen, thank you for subbing. I'll try to hit some cities on the way. And it is nighttime. Hopefully it's more... Ready to roll. Oh, good. It's daytime now. Sun's coming up. Perfect. Now we can finally see. Uh, where are we going? Can I, like, flip around? Go that way? Never mind. I'll find a new route. New subscriber shout out. Uh. Can I take a left up here? Oh, darn. Okay. I guess we gotta pull a U-turn, then. New 
for shout out. Logan Jones, thanks for subbing. Welcome aboard, dude. Thanks for being here. All right, so I guess we'll head back this way. Oh, the cart. Oh. I thought the cargo was still behind us, so I didn't want to, like, back up or go around. Bloro, thank you for subbing. All right, let's keep rolling. Sahrul, thank you for subbing as well. Wow, lots of people joined in the convoy today. Thank you, everybody. Awesome to have your support. When we head back west, I'm going to start logging. We're gonna we're gonna do specifically logging jobs unless one comes up to a random uh, Turn right. area that we haven't been to in uh, Washington. So we probably won't see every city, but I want to get to logging soon enough. So we got that wonderful Mac R with that just absolutely perfect headache rack on it. Look at that. Mm. Will I do anything special when I reach a million subs? Well, let's first reach a million subs first. That would be pretty special, and that would be everybody's like. Uh, Sir, sir, sir. That would be everybody's uh, accomplishment, so when we do that together, we'll find out something to do. Okay. So now we're on our way to go pick up some gypsum. And then we're going to haul it to a, another new part of town. Um, the speed limit here is only 25. Okay. Your P PC accidentally unsubscribe? Oh, that's okay. Just resubscribe. It'll be all right. Oh, I love the new DLC. Very, very exciting, like you said, Geo. We just drove by another uh, major landmark, the Grand Coulee Dam on our left there. Uh, is Coast to Coast compatible with Washington? You'd have to see. I'm not sure. You'd have to... I guess the best thing to do is to download it and uh, give it a shot. I guess we'll have to stick in five then. All right. Well, that was an interesting night haul. I wonder if we can drive across the dam. I don't. I don't think so. Oh, that's what those giant. Uh, okay, so those rails there connect to the dam, so it must be a lot, allow them to move cargo or something from the dam. So if there's ever a giant, uh, like a giant, uh, what do you call it, turbine or something required. Is there a Western Star dealership? There should be if there's a new truck, right? We'll have to find it. Although I don't, Stay right, I don't know if there was one in this town. Continue straight. It's a good question. Is there a dealership in town? No, this town's very small. Grand Coulee has no, uh... No shops in it, so probably not. Do you like trucks? I drive a semi for my job. Yeah, I love uh, this Mac R. It's seriously my favorite. I've been trying to find other trucks that... Uh, Go straight. I've been trying to find other trucks that, you know, I could love more, but this one seems to be my favorite. Drive near Mount Rainier or Mount St. Helens? Where is that? What city is closest to that? Yeah, there was there was a crucifix on that uh, on that uh, giant dam. I think there might have been a chapel or something on it. I think that makes it a goddamn. I think that I think that's how that works. Haha. Uh -huh. I said haha, -ha, chat. Thank you. Tacoma, basically. Oh, we must have seen it then already in our previous stream. All right, let's go. Let's ride D-17. Ahmad Khan, how you doing? Ooh, look at that beautiful lake. Is that uh, Moses Lake there that we saw earlier? Man, Washington and Oregon, two really cool states. There's like all this just like rough, 
plateau like landscape it's all dried up kind of like desert and then it's just lush forests and just beautiful landscape on the other hand Mount St. Helens is north of Vancouver. We probably had seen that. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what they look like. So, but We did see some big old mountains, so maybe that was it. Are those the highest point in the United Ready States? Turn left. Or is, the, is that part of the Rockies? I'm, not, I'm, I'm assuming it is. Are those Mount... Isn't Mount St. Helens the biggest? That's the one that exploded, right? Turn left. In like the 80s? Ooh, beautiful sunrise. You going camping at Mount St. Helens? Oh, that's cool. Cascade Mountain Range, okay. And Mount St. Helens blew up, I know, in the 80s. Don't remember when. I think Reagan was president when that happened. Oh, Mount St. Helens erupted in the 1980. Oh, 82? Oh, 81. I see 80, 81, and 82. So, sometime between <laughs> 1980 and 1980. Sometime, sometime between 1980 and today it exploded. There we go. Oh, come on. I hate these slow trucks, especially when the speed limit's 60, bro. There was that one guy and he wouldn't leave? Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't remember that. May 18th, 1980. There you go. Aside from Hawaii, that was like the last eruption in the United States, at least in the mainland. There was a lot of uh, volcanic and... Uh, uh, like, uh, plate tectonic t activity in the 80s, too. Because wasn't there... Wasn't it 1984, 85 that uh, Get ready to turn left. Los Angeles had an earthquake and there was the uh, the uh, highway collapsed? Do I play on Trucker's MP? Uh, sometimes. Ooh, there's actually scales here. That's cool. Oh, is this a tandem trailer? I thought, it was, I thought it was a singular one. Darcy, thanks for seven. Yep, it's a tandem. Oh, he ran the spirit lot. Wow, a lot of you guys like the... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's haul some gypsum, boys, to yet another new location. Ready to roll. Okay, let's go. This is a pretty cool mine. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Geralt, I'm going the exact way you asked me. When possible, make a U-turn. Geralt, behave. I know where we're going. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Do I play 18 wheels truck simulator? No, I just pretty much play this one. It's kind of like the quintessential. I want to see if we can go on the way scales. Or what that does, or if there's any reason to do it. Okay, let's find a new route. Geralt, we're literally on the route. You can weigh your vehicle for $10? What? What was the point of doing that? 
What's the point of weighing before you leave? Aren't I still gonna have to be weighed on the highway anyway? Turn, turn right at Las Vegas, then go left into a house. Yeah. Turn right. Hopefully, I don't make that mistake. Oh, weighing after I eat all the pizza. Okay. Yeah, why do they charge? I'm hauling cargo for them. What a scam. It's like, hey, would you uh, haul this cargo for us for $100,000? Okay. Well, also, we're going to need $10. Oh, also, I have the Caterpillar uh, modified truck in here, too. So I think maybe I'm going to give that one a try next as well. For those of you who really want to see more trucks and stuff in use, uh, please make me some suggestions on the Discord. Check down below in the description and join our Discord. I would love to see some more suggestions from you guys on other trucks that I should drive. You can name them all day in chat, that's totally fine, but the mod has to exist. So if you have any good mods, especially for logging, let me know by uh, jumping on the Discord and dropping a link for either Steam or some other website for whatever. Yeah, I got, ha I got hustled for 10 bucks. I got taken away by that. Trucking is a scam rigged against the driver. Oh yeah, everything's a scam. Just so cor corporations have got everything set up so it's it can maximize profit for them. It's about the shareholders and the uber ultra rich. Oh, train coming. Okay. You have to weigh on departure and arrival? I mean, I'm just leaving, so. Also, there's a nice, uh, there's a nice mod that uh, extends train lengths. So if you want a mod for longer trains where you have to sit at a uh, railroad crossing for a little bit longer, there's a nice mod for that too, which is kind of cool. I like that. Government needs their share. Well, they don't need their share. They got enough. You know what I'd really like? As a taxpayer, if I could see where my money was going. Like, you know. $400 went to the roads. $600 went to the schools. I'd like that. That's what I'd like to see. That's transparency of government. That's fine. You want to take my money? Okay, that's fine. But let me know where... You can't just say, hey, you owe us money. What are you going to do with it? We can't tell you. It's like, what? That's a scam. By the way, Chad, I'm going to need a dollar from everybody watching right now. I can't tell you what I'm going to do with it, but you are required to give me a dollar. Thanks. Appreciate that, guys. Oh, what's that? You're saying no? Okay. That's fine. Ready to turn left. I'm going to send everyone to jail then. Cops are on their way, guys. Turn left. Yeah, I know in other European countries they, they do some itemization, and I do like that. There's nothing wrong with that. What's If you got to pay taxes, well, where's it going? Pay taxes for who? Going to the police officers and the teachers and the bridge, you know, downtown? All right, I'm down with that. But you know they'd come up with some garbage category to hide it under, like, you know. Government bever betterment, $800,000. Like, what? government betterment that that uh, that's how they would again they'd put a little veil in front of things to hide it Canada's super crazy about taxes I see David Heller thanks for subscribing appreciate that what is this coming up here what does that say Dry Falls Dam. Oh, cool. Doesn't look very dry to me. Let's take a look at this dam. Do I take Bitcoin? 
Well, there is. if you would like to support, there is a PayPal link down below. Uh, otherwise, you can also drop a super chat or click or tap the join button if you'd like to support the stream. Okay, this is weird. How does this work? It looks like it comes out of these pipes. So I think... I guess underneath the water there might be... An, oh, that might be for overflow or something like that, but they probably control it via the valves underneath. What is this all for? Isn't, they're not creating power here. This must be some sort of thing to control the river. Main canal headworks. Oh, it's canal. Oh, it's a power. Oh, they are getting power from this. Huh. Well, let's take a nice shot of our beauty. One of her, one of her rare times caught not hauling logs. Yeah, well, the biggest problem with taxes for me is that whenever you work, you get taxed, and then at the end of the year, they tax you again, and it's like, all right, well, you, if you're going to take money, you'll just do it once. That's like being robbed twice. I'd, I'd rather be robbed one. I'd rather only be mugged one time. Yeah, I think Texas might be the next place added. That would be really cool. All right, road work ahead, left lane closed. Oh, cool, we got a green light. Bunch of guys standing around. <laughs> that was fast acceleration. The game was paused. I just got out to uh, take a look at the dam and see what was up there. Some very interesting structures in Washington. And I do like the fact that they built roads over dams, too, to like kind of use them as bridges. That's really cool. I do not know how to use the camera. Yeah, I do. I just used it. Weren't you watching the stream? Uh-oh. License and registration, ma'am. Oh, true. Yeah, if you own your own business, the government uh, taxes you every three months. My goal is to make enough money off my own business so that way I don't have to pay taxes at all. Oh, what's that? Oh, you make a lot of money? Oh, well, we certainly can't take any of that. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 mother of three over there? Hold on a second, ma'am. When did you, when did you do? Looks like you won $22 at bingo. We're going to need some of that money. We're going to need a dollar and 81 cents. It's like, all right, go bother Jeff Bezos. Leave her alone. Oh, last day of school for you, Jacob Bell. Well, welcome, dude. Welcome to your wonderful long summer, and uh, congratulations on finishing another year of school. Yay. Well, we're just flying now. This truck is just hauling, baby. I wonder if we should go up even higher. There we go. Yeah, I'm thinking that Texas is going to be the next DLC, just because Texas might co uh, possibly connect to some other interesting states. I think they're trying to do the states that they might be able to make the game more interesting on. They can't just say, here's Texas with all the locations. Like, they gotta do something a little bit more. Like, they gotta do new cargo, something specific, you know. They gotta kinda, you know, do something more interesting. And I think Texas could be the next big one to be... Which could also connect to the south, too. So they might end up doing, like, all the... They might do a ring or... You know, like, when you do a puzzle, and usually you do the frame? Well, maybe they'll end up, like, doing all the outer states first, like Texas, then work their way to Florida, then all the way up to Maine, and then work their way back, you know, through, Get ready to turn left. like, Minnesota and all those other states, all the way back to Washington again. And then fill in the middle later. Because the middle of the United States is kind of, turn left. it's a little more quieter. Like, there's the Midwest and whatnot, but the, most mostly it's quiet. 
Minatachi and Omek is to the right. Ooh, that's a cool looking house. Oh. There we go. Ooh, wait, these trailers are covered. Interesting. We got American flag over there. America. Alright, well, I can't wait until we get back to, like, Portland and work our way back up to, uh, all the way along Route 5, all the way up to Seattle and Tacoma. Then we can really start doing some logging again. Oh, you play a goalie and you got second place for your soccer team? Wow, you've been having some good get times. Ready. That's good to hear. Yeah, some Turn southern right. states would be interesting. I'd really like to see the east coast now. I don't know. I don't think they would do that, though. I don't think they're just going to, like, randomly jump to a different coast without being able to drive there. But you never know. Columbia River again, huh? Beautiful. Say it as when Atachi. Yeah, didn't I say that? Ataki? When Ataki? Teriyaki. Mm. I'm going to end up straight. eating this city. Stay this, left. this guy in the minivan wants to race. Oh, look, he got scared, and he's, like, going the different direction. That's why we won. Did I realize it was a red light? Oh, it wasn't. That's why I went through it. It was green. I was anticipating the uh, light changing, so that's why I continued forward. Wanachi? Is that how you say it? Wanachi? But it's when that... Ah, whatever. Oh, we're hauling gypsum. And there's some uh, interest on our loan. Apparently they're well known for their apples. Grab your Stay truck. Left and then turn left. Turn left. Uh oh. I don't think that's the right gear. Oh, there it goes. Our truck looks so cool compared to these guys. We're so cool. I love how small our truck looks without all the extra, like, doohickeys and wind whatnots on it. It's cool because then we can uh, look a little bit smaller when we're hauling, like, a giant thing of cargo. Did I just give birth to a white car? What? Where? Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, green green truck power. Three three trucks right there were all green. There we go. My truck is green, so shouldn't we go through all the green, like all lights should be green then too? Ooh, we got a railroad crossing here. Get ready to turn right. Your cat is hanging out? Turn awesome. Right. There's nothing be between Seattle and Chicago. Well, there's Minneapolis. 
and Fargo, maybe. Turn left. Wait, these gated this driveways are really annoying. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's just skip that. Let's go on to a new new job. Yay, excellent delivery. Good, good, good. All right. Good money from that. Yes, half a million dollars. Wonderful. Let's see. Okay. So we got, yeah. These are probably cities that I'm not going to be able to get to at some at some point maybe. Any lumber? Any logs? Oh, there's some logging equipment here. Oh, uh, to Oakland. Uh, I don't want to go down. I want to stay in... I want to stay in Washington. Oh, there's one up there. Okay. I want to head back east and, or west and see if we can find some logging-related cargo now. Let's see if we can go back to uh, Garage Manager here. And I'm back to Seattle. I don't know if uh, Washington is multiplayer yet. Anonymous, thanks for subscribing. Everybody, thank you very much for clicking and tapping the subscribe button. Again, Gomo and GTSCX, thank you for clicking and tapping the join button. Your guys' support is awesome. So thank you, everybody, for supporting the stream. That supports the channel, so thanks for helping me to entertain you. That's awesome. Too bad there's not a garage in Effort. I want to drive up there again. And Bellingham doesn't have one either. <gasps> or does it? No, I don't think that's a garage. All right, let's see if there's anything we can haul. Logging related. Let's go west. We'll go back to these other locations later. What do we got here? Uh, nope. Tacoma. We. Oh, that's local deliveries. Oh, yeah, that's another problem, too, is that a lot of these <laughs> deliveries are all local. Like, look at how many things are just Seattle to Seattle. Like, they want me to move something one city block. Although there are three cities tightly knit together, so it's really easy to get... Oh, there we go. There's a tub grinder. Okay, that's another thing from the uh, Forest DLC, too. Check out E3. Oh, that's just copyright haven. There's just so many... I did it last year just to see what it would happen, and I was just disappointed with the amount of problems there was. There's gravel we can haul over there to Aberdeen. Let's go over that way. Let's see what western uh, Washington is like, and then maybe we can head north to Port Angeles. Let's go! Now, we're, we'll pretend that we're building our, uh, our garage now by hauling some gravel or something over there to pick stuff up. Time to hit the road. That's right. Hey, Gerard, how you doing? Welcome aboard, dude fam squad, bruh. Thirty AAA games are coming out this year. A lot of games are coming Stay out right. in November. Then turn right. Turn right. Hi there, Reese. Dino Diner, yeah. That'll be finished sometime between now and my death. Boy TV, thank you for subbing. I think we're good here. Exit right. Exit right. Alright, so we're heading towards Seattle now. Oh, alright, crazy. Getting a little wild with my speed. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. I really do love this DLC. 
I love the five that runs down the middle. And I love how the eastern side is a little spread out. It's, it's like uh, Oregon Part 2 times 2. It's great. The Oregon DLC was wonderful. The Washington DLC just even better. Stay right. Sir. Oh, there's Seattle from here. Oh, wow, you can see... Were those like... Those look like uh, little metro cars or something. Little uh, monorail cars. Or trams. I know Washington has a monorail, but... Go straight. Get it, get her in there, boy. There we go. Stay left, and then turn left. Uh, there's a speed limiter when it comes to turn left. There's a speed limiter when it comes to uh, uh, external contracts. Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. Okay, so we now we are finished. Yes, we are. Where are we going now? This truck is super powerful. Where are we going? Oh, right here. Perfect. <laughs> they just slid like a little block underneath the front of that thing. That's cool. Oh wow, was I actually off for once? Crazy. From what I just read on SCS's anniversary stream, it looks like either Utah or Idaho will be the next DLC after Washington, not Texas. Oh. Well, I guess we'll see. Maybe they'll give us a big surprise. Drive safe. Alright. Let's do this one. Now, where am I going exactly? the right and then the left from there. Okay, got it. Hi, Richard. Now we're just hauling a tandem thing of gravel out to, uh, what city is that again? Aberdeen. So our first time going to Aberdeen, we're going to discover it. Turn left. Stay right, and then turn right. There we go. Turn right. Yes, for Fuchsland Nielsen. Hi, Rap. Can I get a lift soundboard? Uh, wait, southbound. Oh, here's a little gas money. Yes. Well, we're going west. But there you go. Thank you very much for the... Uh, 50 Danish kroner. Denmark's beautiful. I, I miss going there. I haven't had enough experiences in Denmark. Been there a few times. Usually we just uh, go to a park <laughs> and just uh, drink in like Copenhagen. That's good times. Kurt Cobain was born in Aberdeen. Oh, that's neat. That's a, that's a fun fact. Oh, look. There's Vancouver, British Columbia. So they mark... Stay right. So people don't get confused. That's kind of cool. Well, we're, go we're going west, and then I think maybe a little north, depending off on the highway. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I don't know. I've never driven on these roads before. Have I di the visited the Tivoli in Copenhagen? Oh, the tur is that the church that has, like, an observatory on it? I think so. All right, let's go.
Oh yeah, there's the SeaTac Airport. Awesome. Seattle Tacoma. I've been there. Yay! That's cool. They have such a neat little tram that goes through that airport. Vancouver, British Columbia is the most beautiful city in North America. Well, that, that could be. Certainly the more north you get, all, all those trees and everything like that is gorgeous with all that wetlands up there. Yay! We can bypass the way station. Minnesota driving in the snow. Yeah, it would be nice if they surprised us with a weather DLC. Imagine that. You'd have to haul around snow plows and stuff. Be kind of cool. Stay left. There we go. Kenworth's truck headquarters is in Washington State. Yes, we drove a couple of Kenworths around, actually. Um, on a trailer. A tandem trailer. It was a lot of fun. Bus DLC? I think they were probably thinking about it, maybe. They've modeled in bus stops in Europe before. But it might just be for realism, who knows? Stay left. Anonymous, thanks for seven. I just want to be able to own my own businesses in this game and be able to drive cargo back and forth for them. Stay left. John, how are you doing? Hello. Thanks again, everybody, for all the support, all the likes and everything like that. If you like ATS, if you like the DLC, if you're excited to get it for yourself or you're already playing it, make sure you show that support to the channel. It matters more than ever now to show your love. Thanks for dropping by. Beautiful bridge. Absolutely gorgeous. Stay Heading right, into Portland now. Then exit right. Exit right. Now to Aberdeen. Awesome. Yep, Washington DLC. Uh, this is uh, music, yeah, from uh, Gamers Man. Thanks for subbing. This is music for uh, just like copyright free. I get through a company that I work with. I pay them monthly and then they give me free stuff like music and stuff. So that's where everybody's support goes to. Makes things a little bit more entertaining. So it's not in-game soundtrack or anything, but there is in-game like music. You can um, use a radio and stuff like that. You can use uh, internet radio and you can listen to stuff all day. But it almost seems like it's in the game. It'd be nice if there was just some casual, like, 22 songs, but that would make the game cost more. Stay left. All right, we're heading to Aberdeen now. So what's it like over here? Is there a lot more logging on the far west coast? Like, it looked like there was definitely some logging in northern Washington, north northwest Washington. This looks pretty thick, too, with trees. Mario, thanks for seven. 
Yeah, there's lots of logging in the Pacific Northwest for sure. Oregon has a lot too. How's the weather? Oh, good for me. There we go. Hey there, Martin. Doing good. How are you? There needs to be some more logging simulator games. I really want one that just simulates everything to do with logging. New subscriber shout out. Gordon, thanks for seven. And Warbird, welcome. Ooh, cool, the Aberdeen Bridge. Gateway to the Olympics. Take a look here. Oops, not that one. Well, that's a unique bridge. That was one of the things that the developers really hyped up to was the amount of bridges. Wow, so from here you can get to the Olympics, guys. So this basically means you can go to Tokyo. There we go. Let's see what it, what it, what he got here. Oh, cool! This bridge is made from. Uh, it's a it's a great bridge. It's super awesome. It's great. It's the greatest bridge ever. No, that means there's no. Uh, in order to reduce the weight, I think instead of laying asphalt, they uh, put down like a chain link deal. Cool. Beautiful. I think the bridge is uh, a drawbridge. It'll uh, tip backwards and then raise up to let boat traffic underneath. That's kind of cool. It's a drawbridge, yep. Looks like it. A lot of different bridge types in Washington. That's really neat. That's the greatest bridge ever. Oh, a Walgreens. Oh, I need to get in there and pick Stay up right. some uh, Benadryl. Turn right. No, I'm just kidding. Lamar, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome. Turn right. Stay left, and then turn left. I can't stay left, Geralt. There's two lanes. Turn left. Is it going to rain? How far out of Seattle am I? Well, I'm in Aberdeen, so... Oh, there's actually street names on the... on the uh, Next to the semi-forest. That's awesome. What's the name of this? What is that street? Myrtle? Myrtle Street? Oh, it's a one-way street? Oh, it is. Okay. Now I see the signs. I gotcha. I guess I couldn't tell with the lanes not painted. There are signs that say one way. That's cool. Do a job that goes to Seattle? I think we did. I, well, you're not, you don't actually get to go into downtown. You kind of get to go out. You know, you're on the outskirts of all these major cities. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. We are finished. Thank you, Geralt. Let's just go ahead and skip this. Very nice. So what cities are included? All right, let's take a look. I wanted to get back to the map, too. Oh, good, we're a full trucker now. Yeah, we're a real trucker. We got all things unlocked. Okay, so you can see all the cities here in Washington. You got Vancouver, Longview, we just discovered Amberdeen. We can go to Port Angeles in the north, Olympia here. Uh, Seattle, Everett, 
Bellingham, Omak, Colville, Spokane, Grand Coulee, when, when, in, when in doubt, something, when in doubt, punch it, I don't know. Winnick, Yakima, all these cool cities here. Extremely boring game. Yeah, Alan, they based it off your sex life. Got them. All right, so let's see where we can go next. I think we might probably go north to Port Angeles or Olympia. Maybe we can go... Oh, yes. Oh, no, not to Los Angeles, though. Take 101, such a beautiful drive. Okay. Let's see. Is it possible to go to the Boeing factory in Everett? Uh, yes. We've been to Everett, and apparently I've seen screenshots where you can drive under the factory. Oh, there, there we go. A tub grinder to Seattle. Tacoma. I just want to go up to Port Angeles, though, that, where we haven't gone before. Then we're going to start focusing on, like, logging-related stuff. Though, damn, it seems like there was more logging in Oregon than there is up here. What about if I go down to Astoria? Is there anything north to... No? Well, there is something to go to Everett. But I want to try to go up to Port Angeles. We can always... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bob Bobcat it up there. Bobtail. Bob, Bob th Bobcat Goldthwait it up there if we need to. Go to Olympia? Well, let's go to the external contract. Yeah, cargo market, but I don't have a trailer at the moment. I should buy one. But if I buy a trailer, don't I have to go to a garage? Or no, don't I have to go back to one of my garages and haul it? I just want to go now from where we are. Oh, actually, there's a small... There's, there we go. Empty Palace to Olympia. At least we'll get Olympia off the list. Hmm. wonder if you can see all the grounded Boeing 737 MAX planes at the factory in Renton. I don't know. I don't think... Is Renton on here? I don't remember seeing that. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's good lumber. Yeah, there's not as much logging here as I'd like. Oregon has tons... Like, everything in Oregon is logging. Here it's so... diverse, I suppose, because there's so many industries in Washington. Like, you got aerospace... Certainly don't want to drive down. Look at how much money we get to drive into Los Angeles, though. Actually, if we took a look... Let's take a look at it, see what our most expensive cargo would be. Well, we get $1.1 million for driving a stumper from Aberdeen to Santa Fe. Or under the freight market. Let's see how much money we'd make here. $1.3 million by driving a, uh, a knuckle boom loader from here to Clovis. Oh, my goodness. That's like a life-changing amount of money. That's crazy. All right, well, I certainly want to drive north. I definitely need to do some more cargo, but... All right. Do a long haul. I think we're going to stay in Washington because I want to stay focused on... Uh, on uh, doing logging and things like that. And then everybody spamming in all chat uh, in capitals. Remember to read the rules there. And remember, spamming will just get you ignored. I think we can sort by... Oh, what is all this? Oh, there's filters. Cool. Flat beds, bulk carriers, low beds, special transport. What would, what would logs be under? Bulk carrier? I didn't know that was there. I don't know if that's new or if I just never noticed it. Is a bulk carrier like a uh, log? Oh, I don't know. I bet there's a route from Port Angeles to Olympia. You're probably right. You were probably right about that. But we kind of already went through Olympia. We just kind of went ar kind of around it. <laughs> I think, is there a garage there? There might be. Oh, I think there is. We might be able to... Can we buy a garage in Olympia? Let's see. All right, let's see here. All right, so there's a garage in Olympia. 
don't know why. Why why is there one there and not like uh coolie? That would that would have been a lot cooler. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's let's buy one in Bend. Certainly want to buy one in Oregon so we can start doing some more logging jobs. Maybe buy one in Medford too. They want to spend too much more money. All right, one more garage maybe. Is this game fun? Absolutely. How many states does, uh, so if you get the game, remember there's DLC too, but right now, if you have all the DLCs, there's New Mexico, Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington, and if you get, if you don't have any of the DLCs, I think you just get Nevada, California, and Arizona, but then there is a New Mexico DLC, Oregon, and now finally, as of today, Washington, not to mention new cargos too, if you get some of those DLCs, that's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Fusil Air airplane fuselage deliveries to the plane factory. They did show the aircraft factory, so there's got to be something going up to Everett, but it's probably from other cities. But I'm surprised why I can't, like, deliver stuff from there. But I suppose they fly them out once they're all together. Oh, my God, boat. That's cool. Wow, 1.3 million for driving a boat there. Ooh. That is expensive. Yeah, they'll probably be adding more states. All right, well, there's not really... I want to find something to, like, uh... from like Aberdeen to Port Angeles, but I guess the only way to do that is like sleep. We could probably find like a truck stop or something to do that. All right, everyone, that is it for our stream now. I will be back in another hour and we'll continue it on from here. I'm gonna try to do some, see if we can do some logging and some extra stuff along Route 5 and uh, try to also unlock uh, the route to the north. So we're gonna try to go to Port Angeles and then work our way to Bellingham, Everett, and Seattle and see if we can do any sort of logging here. Otherwise, it seems like Oregon might be better for logging and uh, Washington's better for like a variety of cargo at the moment. But I'll be back in about an hour for yet another stream. We'll continue it on. And uh, we probably won't see every city in the map uh, today because some of them are spread out. But I certainly want to find more of these routes, especially like right here. It looks like there's some real good routes between Bellingham and OMAC and stuff like that. So you guys have been fantastic. Thank you very much for clicking and tapping the like button on the way out. And thank you very much for uh, subscribing and all the super chats too, Gomo and GTSE and also Gesper. Thank you very much, everybody, for all your super chats and your support. I'll be back in an hour. I'm just going to take a little break. You know, I've been sitting for a while and it uh, helps to do these in little portions. So we'll come back to do some big O logging. We'll see if we can go to Longview and Olympus and, or Olympia and Port Angeles and kind of stay in the western side to see what we can see about logging. So next time we're going to try to do uh, some more exploration. We'll try to go north, then south, and then see if we can keep it around here and find some new logs and stuff. You guys are great. I will be back in uh, less than an hour, so I'll see you all soon for some more American Truck Simulator. Thank you, everybody. You guys are great. If you subscribe on the way out, your name should pop up. And if you'd like to win a copy of this game, too, follow me on Twitter. I might possibly get some uh, keys to give away for you. So there you go. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for following on Instagram, too. And I'll see you guys in less than an hour. Bye, everyone. Bye.